How about how about humor? Um, because well, how about humor? you know, I, well, I'm I'm going to bring it up because there are going to be lots of comics saying lots of different things, and I wondered because we saw some of the, that you were a little upset with us uh, about a, a, a comic comment that was made, and so. How will you steal your skin? Do you know what I mean? How will you, uh, how will you get a thicker skin to accept some of the, the humorous things that will be said about you? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, if you meant your comment about my face being demented in a Halloween mask as humorous, so be it. I guess you misinterpreted Donald Trump's comments about my face and thought no. those weren't humorous. No, 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 you no, sort no, of no, took no, him to task. Uh, hold on, but no, the no, no. point First is, all, look, that I have was, a real that was thick me skin. Actually no, no, asking no, no. the question, Carly. Hold on, Carly. Hold on. It's Joy again. I have a real thick ahead, skin. It's, it's the wounded warrior. Skin. Give me a minute. Give Joy a second. You know, I defended you against Donald Trump's comment. He is running for president of the United States, and he was making a nasty comment about your looks, and I took him on on this show. But we are comedians here. I make fun of Hillary's pantsuits, and Hillary's husband's sex life, um, John Boehner's tan. Um, um, yes, who else? There's so much. Ben Carson. And I want to also I mean, add that it was. Go on. Go on. on. I don't understand why any politician is exempt from my comedic jokes. I don't get that. From our comedic you know jokes. What, well, you, know what, Joy, right you know what, Joy? You know what, Joy? You can say whatever you want. You always have. You always will. That's I'm right. not going to stop that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to stop that. And don't worry. I have skin plenty thick enough to take whatever people throw at me. I'm making a different point. And the different point is this. I think that there are real issues in this nation that we ought to be able to discuss in a fact-based, civil fashion. Absolutely. And frankly, I don't think we talk that way enough. When somebody, for example, not necessarily you, but when someone, for example, says that because I don't agree with the litany of the left, I am against women, that's ridiculous. When somebody says that my candidacy is offensive to women, mm. that's been said. That's ridiculous. Let's have a discussion about the issues, as you say. Okay. You're a comedian. I, I you can say a... whatever you like. You're well, not going to offend on. me. Carly, hold on a second. Go ahead. I, I want to add that the demented comment was a poor choice of words, but it was really responding to something you said during the debates, that people were telling you to smile more. And to me, it felt like it was not your natural kind of state of mind. It was not a thing on your looks. It was more your expression that you, it, it felt like you were being maybe told to smile more. And I'm actually wondering, Coach. is that difficult for you? Do you have people coaching you to act a different way or to be a different way? And is that going to help you win this election? Well, first of all, I don't have people coaching me to act a different way or be a different way. Okay. I am who I am. And right. I love to smile and laugh. But there's a time to smile and there's a time to be serious. When you're talking about burying a child, it is not time to smile. Well, you and there are serious the issues. Yeah. So. Uh, okay, Carl, so <laughs> there are serious issues facing the nation. Yes, and you know, one of the things that we did early on after you announced your presidency is we had you here. And Which I, I thought appreciate. we were pretty, yes, I, I thought we were pretty respectful. And I have to tell you, having watched some of the uh, press that you've garnered based on this fake feud with The View, I'm a little <laughs> taken aback because you kind of said that, uh, that somehow liberal women are... Don't, uh, don't that we are made uncomfortable by conservative women but we weren't uncomfortable with you did you think we were uncomfortable with you when you were on well first of all Whoopi, uh i really enjoyed being on the show the first time and i'm enjoying being on the show the second time and uh -huh. i think the view garnered a lot of publicity over this feud as well i think that's why you have me Actually, on your no, show we haven't put out any ads or anything for a couple Carly. segments we, but, we didn't put out any ads also or say time too, and we weren't going to buy a private plane yeah, for you to come on but, but i guess what i'm saying let, is do you feel let, that that let, we I, are not I responsive I to you guys it. i haven't put out i haven't put out any ads either Whoopi. okay but let me just say that there if you if yeah, you are a denying, fundraiser. you know, there's a, go ahead, Paula. I just wanted to say, Carly, and I know you use the, the unfortunate situation with Donald Trump to, to your benefit. You know, you're making lemonade out of lemons and, and you're using the feud with The View as well as part of your fundraising campaign. There's a video that's going out, but you're clearly trying to make lemonade out of, uh, out of lemons here, aren't you? 
Oh, so you're telling me that you guys are lem lemons? No, I'm I just saying. I thought you said I shouldn't be offended. No, that was that is funny actually. Yeah. Very good, very good. But you try to spin something, try to turn it into something beneficial, and that's what that's what you do in life. You take a situation look, here, and, you, and you use look, it to your advantage. Look, here, here, here is the reality, and I think if all of you are honest, you will admit that this is the reality. Conservative women are held to a different standard than liberal women. That's Why? just true. By it's who? true. By home. By and who? all of you, all you know of what, Carmen, by the not, you are media, a very wonderful woman, media. and we're so glad that you came back. And so back are with you, us. Whoopi. And um, so we, are you. We're. I am a big fan of your movies. And as I'm I told a big you fan last time of I was on my your movies show. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being well, here. Agree. We want to we have you come back when you can, when you're able to come back. Come back in studio. Come hang with us, and we'll talk some more. How's I that? would be happy to. All right. Thank you I again.